So I'm going to try this again, Saints. I figured out that my telephone is not going to work now unless, of course, it's plugged in continuously. So welcome, welcome, sister with a testimony. God bless you today. Jeremiah 17, 8 says, For he, that's you, shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when the heat comes, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither, I love this part, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That's a promise for us saints. So um, the tree that I showed you on, on the video that had been bulldozed over and uh, the root system destroyed except for one large tap root. That tree, I tried to video it earlier, the phone just wouldn't work, so I couldn't get that to you, but I'll, I'll get a picture of it. It has a tap root to the side. I, I don't even know if it's a tap root. It's a side root. And um, that one large root goes into the ground and is sustaining that tree. There's a huge hole in the ground where the, the tree was pushed over. The huge root ball, all of the roots are just destroyed. I'll try to get a picture out on that. But when I think about that and the Lord says we will be like trees planted by the water that spreads out our roots by the river, if you've got one root, you're in, you're in business here, saints, because the Lord is our sustenance. He is the living water. He is the bread of life. He is the light of the world. I declare and decree over you today. You will be like that tree planted by the waters. I declare and decree over you that you will spread out your roots. And if you've only got one root, let me tell you what, as long as it's in Jesus and it's grounded, you're good. The promise says that we will not see when the heat comes. It's not going to disturb us. It's not going to cause us to pass away and faint. Guess what? We're still going to be rooted and grounded in the word and the water and the life-sustaining blood of the lamb. This word is so powerful. Our leaf will be green. Saints, your fruit is going to be green. It's going to remain. You will not be worried in the drought. You're not going to have to be concerned about yielding fruit because you will be producing fruit even in your old age. Psalm 1-3. It was so cool because it talks about we're still going to be yielding good fruit. Saints, I just declare and decree over you today that your fruit shall remain. You will produce good fruit. You will be known by your fruit. You will be known by your love. I'm praying for you today with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire fall on you today. If there's anything that's not of the Lord, let the fire burn it up. Don't don't have to you don't have to go to the fire kicking and screaming lord i declare and decree that we're going to go to the fire and we're going to jump in because lord there's nothing that we desire there's nothing that we aspire more than the fire because, Lord, you are our sustainer and you give us that fire. You give us that power. You give us that honor. You give us that glory. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And I am going to speak your name. I am going to say Jesus is Lord. I'm going to continue to tell people that Jesus is God in the flesh. Saints, we have got to stand up. We have got to grow up and we have got to show up. In season, out of season. Psalm 1, Psalm 1 and 3 says that in, our, in his season we will bear fruit. This is the season for us to bear fruit. And I'm declaring and decreeing over you today that you're going to bear fruit. Fruit that remains. This is your season. Just because it's winter time in the physical realm, it's not winter time in the spirit realm. And you have work to do. I declare and decree that you will get up, you will be about your father's work, you will be about your father's business while the time is short, saints. We will not be worried and concerned. All I hear from people in prayer time, in prayer groups, in prayer meetings is all of the stuff that's going on, all of the stuff that's bad. Blah, 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 blah. Zip it. Let's talk about how great our God is and how much bigger he is than our problems. Jesus is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. He is God in the flesh. He is not the author and the fin uh, he is not the author of confusion. He is the author and finisher of our faith. So I'm asking you saints, come along with me on this journey. The journey is amazing. The destination has already been written. 
It is written, saints, our destination is in eternity with the Lord. So I just speak over you today. I pray over you today. Let the fire of God fall upon you. You don't have to go to nobody to get it. You've already got it. It's already been given to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's stand up, saints. I, I speak that over you. Stand all the way up. I call out your spirit man. I call to the spirit man of God living in you to rise up. You are above the circumstances. You are not under the circumstances. You are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And I'm going to continue to pray for you. Pray for me. It's time, saints. It's time to testify. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name, I love you. Sister with a testimony, saint with a testimony, I love you, I love you, I love you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.